I think last year was the most stressful year of my life. I gave the NEET exam, which is an entrance exam for medicine in India, and I wasn't able to clear it. I and I scored five eight five in that exam. The cutoffs for public universities was higher as compared to my score. And then I got to know about Italy, and right now I'm studying medicine and surgery here in English in University of Catania, which is situated in Sicily. This video is more of a story time video where we are going to cover my journey from being a pre medical student in India to studying medicine in a public university in Italy. Let's talk about the phase before giving the NEET exam. I wasn't aware about studying medicine here in Italy. NEET is very competitive. In my mind, I was always like that. I have to score good in this exam. I prepared for that exam with a lot of depth knowledge in every subject. And that kind of also helped me in the IMAT exam. Then I gave the NEET exam. I still remember the night when I came back from the NEET exam and I told my parents that I think I won't be able to cross the cutoff for public university. My parents were already in stressful conditions because of something else. And I think I added more to their stress. Also, that same day, I had an anxiety attack when I was thinking about what I would do in the future. After that day, as my parents were aware of my dream of becoming a doctor, they were willing to get me into a private medical college, even though they knew that financially that is not the best decision. In my mind, I wasn't able to settle the fact that my parents have to make so much. My parents would have to make so much sacrifice in their life economically to make me become a doctor in case if I go to a private university in India. And that was the time when I opened Google Maps and I looked at every country where I could find medicine i thought of going to the us or the uk and doing my pre-medical years there and surviving myself on a part-time job that was a very stupid thinking of mine at the same time i was being very delusional then i looked at europe and then i looked at france germany and italy i couldn't find medicine and surgery in english in france or germany so i looked at italy and i was able to find medicine and surgery in english once I got to know about this course is available in English language in this country, I searched the whole web. I wrote information about it in my personal diary and I told my father about it. So I told my father about it and he agreed for me to giving that IMAP exam. I took the consideration of uncertainty of that exam in my mind and I told myself that oh, this, this is the time to apply for a university which would have a lower cutoff as compared to other prestigious universities. And then I applied to University of Catania, knowing that medicine and surgery course is a new course here. The cutoffs are gonna definitely be low. And I was sad in my prediction because Catania had the second lowest cutoff. And even though I scored really good in the IMATICS, I have no regret in my decision of choosing at that. Because I'm aware that was a good move from my side. Because I'm aware that was a good move of, from my side. After making my mind of choosing University of Catania, I looked into the IMATICS, I saw the whole syllabus and I made a study plan for myself from scratch of what I'm going to study and in which manner I have to study. From July to September 2024, my brain was fully focused on one thing that is clearing the IMAT exam. My mind was obsessed by the fact that I have to clear this exam with good score. I was studying efficiently for maybe 8 to 10 hours a day consistently not talking to my friends a lot not going for any hangouts and i kind of liked myself being hyper focused on one thing so that was it about the preparation thing and then the day of that imat exam came i was going to drive there by myself and i needed someone to carry my keys once i go in so i took my younger brother with me both of us we went together to the center and I entered the center and I saw some online friends that I made. I met them and even now. So once I came out of the IMAT center, I met my brother again. I had such a big smile at my face because I knew I would be able to clear the cutoff. Then I drove the car to McDonald's because we were hungry. Me and my brother, we sat there and I ordered his favorite meal because I was so happy with the whole exam thing. And at the same time, the MIU agency which is responsible for conducting this whole exam, they released their answer key for the IMAT exam. And I remembered what I marked in the exam and what I did. I took a pen from the McDonald's cashier and I started to write what I did correct and wrong in the IMAT exam. After doing the whole calculation thing, I was able to get to a conclusion that I am between 75 and 78 in the exam. 
once i got to know that i would be scoring this good i called my parents and i told them i'm going to make it to medical school and they told me to get some indian desserts while i'm coming back to celebrate this whole thing and that was the moment and also that was the day when i felt so proud of my past self that i dedicated myself to a cause and i would be able to get fruits of that in the future results were supposed to release on 10th of october but my university decided to release the results later i got my scores on 15th i opened the pdf of the candidates who would be getting in and on rank 1 i saw my name and that was also a really great moment of my life where i felt very confident as opposed to being so stressed from month of may to month of september it was not even just the stress and there is one thing when you are handling a stress about something alone and there is another thing when you could see your family members stressing because of you and those stressful conditions were the conditions that put me into a position where i focused into a thing for a long period and i was able to get the result of that a lot of people run from stress these days but sometimes stress can work in your part in the long term and it can help you get results that you won't usually get in the normal circumstances after that it was the time for preparing documents for visa only uncertain thing that was going to decide if i really get in or not so even those days were a bit stressful but they weren't as stressful as those days which when i was preparing for the exam and then i did my whole documentation it was a bit of a tedious task but we have to eventually do it so i did the whole thing november 4th was the appointment for my visa and two days ago for the visa interview we me my, me and my parents we went to a hanuman temple in kannot place delhi and there is this big temple in center of delhi in kannot place and i prayed to god that god just let me be there even before that visa interview thing i went to that temple many times and that was actually the first time i saw my father being a bit religious and the day of the interview came i gave the interview i was 90% sure that i would get the visa eventually and in five working days i received the notification that that my passport is ready for collection went to the passport collection center the vfs office and there was this girl in the vfs office who knew me because i visited the office five six times and she knew that i was stressed about my visa and when she saw me she smiled at me and she told me congratulations on that then i sat there and she gave me the envelope to open i opened the envelope and i saw my passport and i could see the stamp of and i could see my student visa there a parent land trip in a hill station in uttarakhand in india and then we went to that trip to celebrate this whole thing of me getting a visa and becoming a medical student and eventually would become the first doctor of my whole family including my extended family and my flight was for 27th of november also that was my first international flight and that was also my first international flight in that flight i was thinking on my whole journey and how i went from being in very stressful conditions back in india and then coming here and studying medicine at such a low cost that flight was my call to make this youtube channel where i would make people aware about this option of studying medicine here in such a wonderful country so that was it regarding this video and i would absolutely love to hear your experience of hearing the story time in comments thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you for putting the time on bye bye